Okay, so we're looking at M1 2003 January paper and we're doing question 8. Okay, so I'm going to go straight into this, so I'll let you read the question in your own time, but it talks about particle A and particle B. First of all, we're going to analyse particle A and particle B separately. So. I have a particle A which has tension acting that direction. We have uh, a mass, so we've got 0.8 g acting down, and we have a reaction force acting up, of course. Um, and particle B we have the same tension acting up we have 1.2 g acting down and of course both of these particles are accelerating at the same rate because it says that it is released from rest which means that it is moving okay so uh, the first question says calculate the tension in the string before B reaches the ground. Um, so I'm going to resolve A in the initial direction of motion. Uh, so we know that it's moving, so the sum of the forces equals our mass times acceleration. Now we only have one horizontal force acting, so we've got T equals M, which is 0.8A. And I'm going to call this equation 1. Now doing a similar thing, so resolving in the direction of initial motion of B, F, the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. So in a positive direction, we've got 1.2 G, then we've got a minus T equals 1.2A. Uh, and I'm going to call this equation 2. Um, so it wants me to find out what tension equals. Um, I think I'm actually going to find out the acceleration first. So I'm going to sub 1 into 2. So I've got 1.2 g minus t which is 0.8 a and that equals 1.2 a. Uh, rearranging so I've got 1.2 g equals 2 a so A equals 1.2 G over 2 or A equals 0.6 G um, I'm going to put down a numerical value for A so A equals put into the calculator Okay, 5.88 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's my A. Uh, and now I can sub, I'm going to continue working down the page. Okay, so I can uh, sub A into. Uh, I'll put it into equation 1, it looks like the easiest. So we've got T equals 0.8 times 5.88. Uh, so T equals, calculator again, uh, 4.704. Um, and I'm going to put it into three significant figures, so I've got 4.70 newtons, don't forget the units, and it's to three significant figures. Okay, so that's part A done. 
uh, part B, the time taken uh, by B to reach the ground. Um, so this is going to be Suvat, uh, so part B. Um, so I'm going to redraw uh, a diagram and put Suvat on it. So I've got um, B, particle B, which is 0.6 meters above the ground um, and it is accelerating towards the ground at what did we say at 0.6 G meters per second squared okay so looking at S U V A T uh, S is 0.6 meters U it is released from rest so it is 0 meters per second A is 0.6 G meters per second minus 2 and T that's what I'm looking for so I don't really care about V um, S, U, A, and T. So an equation which involves all of those would be S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared. Um, substituting and solving, I've got 0 0.6 equals 0 times T plus 0 0.6 six G T squared over two and so I've got uh, one point two equals naught point six G T squared so one point two over 0.6 g equals t squared so I've got um, t equals 1.2 over 0.6 g that's the square root of all that, I could simplify the 1.2 over 0.6 obviously but I'm putting it into a calculator so I'm not going to T equals uh, 0.4517 and some other stuff so T equals 0.452 seconds to 3 significant figures OK, so that gives us B, the time taken. Uh, C, in a refinement to the model, the coefficient of friction is now one-fifth. Find the time taken by B to reach the ground. OK, so I basically have to do the same thing all over again, apart from I can miss out this little bit here, uh, but I still have to do it in three steps. So, first of all, I'm going to redraw my force diagrams, my uh, sketches. They weren't really force diagrams, sketches. Um, so, I have particle A, which is being pulled by tension. Um, it is now being resisted. Um, it's moving, so it is F max. Uh, we have a reaction force. And we have uh, 0.8 G, that is an 8, believe me that's an 8. Um, and we know that it is accelerating with some acceleration A. Now the fact that we've got friction means the acceleration will have changed, so we need to work out the acceleration again. Um, and mu, we're told, equals 1 over 5. Then we have particle B, uh, that still has tension acting up, 
it still has 1.2G acting down and it has this new acceleration here which is linked to that. Okay, so uh, looking at particle A first of all, resolving in the direction of motion uh, it's moving so we've got the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration um, now we have T acting in a positive direction and we are taking away F max and that is equal to 0.8 A okay now we know that F max equals mu r now we know what mu is so f max equals uh, ooh, what's that don't know what that is um, r over 5 and uh, we can work out our reaction force by resolving vertically uh, resolving vertically it is not moving so that we know that some of the forces uh, is going to equal zero because it's not moving up or down it's only moving horizontally uh, so we know that zero is going to equal um, R minus 0.8 G so R equals 0.8 G I can sub that back into F max. So, just get the diagrams there. Um, F max now equals 0.8 g over 5, and I can sub that into here. So T minus 0.8 g over 5 is equal to 0.8a ok I'm going to call that um, equation 1 and particle b well again first of all resolving in the direction of initial motion the sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration some of the forces we've got 1.2 g acting in a positive direction uh, minus t is equal to mass 1.2 times acceleration um, and I'm going to call that equation 2 so I've now got two equations and two unknowns a little bit more work than in uh, section A but they are giving you more marks so you have to work a bit harder for it okay so I'm going to rearrange one to make T the subject so T equals 0.8 A plus 0.8 G over 5 um, I'm going to call that uh, 1 1 and I am going to sub 1 1 into 2 so equation 2 1.2 G 1.2 G minus T. I'm going to put this all in brackets first of all. So 0.8 A plus 0.8 G over 5, uh, and that's equal to M A, which is 1.2 A. Okay, so now I have one equation, one unknown. I can solve to find out what acceleration is. So let's do 1.2 g minus 0.8 a plus 0.8 g over 5 equals 1.2 a. I'm going to take. I'm going to 
add 0.8a onto both sides first of all so I've got uh, 1.2g plus 0.8g over 5 equals 2a uh, then I'm going to divide through by 2 so I've got 0.6g plus uh, well that's going to be 0 0.8 over 10 so that's 0 0.08g equals a so a is going to equal 0 0.6 take away 0 0.08 that's 0 0.52g let me use second minus 2 um, I'm not going to work that out because I'm going to sub g in right at the end but now I can just like on the first one once I had the acceleration I used SUVAT so I'm going to use SUVAT again and I'm going to draw a new diagram uh, so particle B is still uh, 0.6 meters high it is accelerating at 0.52 g meters per second minus 2 let's draw in the ground here um, ok so we've got s u v a t we know that s is 0 0.6 meters u is 0 meters per second because it is still being released from rest v well we're not going to need v a is 0 0.5 to g meters per second minus 2 and t equals time because that's what I want to know um, ok so I'm going to use the same Subat equation as before so s equals ut plus a half a t squared um, so 0.6 equals 0 times t plus 0.52 g t squared over 2 um, so one unknown, one equation We've got 2 there so we can do 1.2 equals 0.52 g t squared um, just finding my calculator ok so uh, yeah so I'm back to 1.2 over 0.52 g equals t squared so t equals 1.2 over 0.52 square root of all that so t equals um, 0 0.485261 and so on um, and we know that we have to simplify this so t which is time taken is 0 0.485 seconds to three significant figures and there we have question done a b and c uh, took me four pages I was writing quite large and I was wasting a lot of paper um, but you will get that amount of paper in the exam uh, don't worry about wasting too much paper um, if there's anything you want to see again re rewind the video or have a look at the PDF of this which is going to be available for download as well um, ok thank you that's me done thank you bye